Good morning. I'm here to talk to you about um, bring your attention to a very rare syndrome. Um, I'm the founder of the uh, Foreign Tourette's um, Syndrome Awareness Society. Now, I'm the founder member. It's a very rare disease. You've probably never heard of it. And I did some research, and it affects approximately one in. Well, it's just me. So it's really fucking rare. Um, now um, it's really held me back in life because. Um, you know, I, uh, first time it happened, I was in Spain, and uh, I don't know what came over me. I just uh, started shouting things out like "Nipoyas," <laughs> or um, I'd just be walking down the street asking somebody for directions in English, and then uh, they'd be very polite, and then I'd say things like "Coño" uh, or "Hola" or um, even "Cabrón" or "Cabronazo." And then, uh, but the, um, the real icing on the cake was HOSTIA PUTA! And then, um, and since I've been back in, in England, whenever I'm around Spanish people, and, um, and even Mexican, obviously, in Latin America, they have their own kind of dialect of um, Spanish, and there are some, uh, some words, especially swear words, which are different, and I've seen to uh, absorb them. So, uh, uh, yeah, Mexican might be walking down the street and uh, I say hello to them or, or loud to them because I, I realize they speak Spanish and then, you know, then it just, I can feel it. I, I just can't stop. It's fucking involuntary. It's awful. It's like, uh, or, um, or, 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 oh, God, it's like, uh, you know, it's not the best way to, uh, you know, to, Make a, it's not the best first impression you can get, is it really? Um, perhaps the worst example of it was when I was in in Rome um, on holiday, and it was Christmas Eve, and I was staying at a guest house, and we all went to the Vatican for midnight mass, and this was uh, when the, um, the Polish Pope, uh, Jan, well, uh, Giovanni Paolo, or Jan Paweł II, you know, the, uh, we call him John Paul II, so you had lots of lots of Italians, but you just had lots of Polish people. And uh, you know, I, my Italian wasn't great, but Italians would come up to me and say, "So, what do you think of uh, you know the, the Pope? What do you think of?" Uh, and I'd say things like "Vaffanculo, uh, stronzo," or um, and somebody else come up to me, you know, "You, you, you uh, isn't this Pope great? Isn't this guy great?" And I'd say, "No, what do you think of him?" And I'd say things like "Test cazzo," or. Uh, Somebody else would say, um, you know, what do you think of us as, as, as Italians? And I'd say things like, Gee, Putana! Or, um, you know, this is, um, and then people would introduce me, this is my, my brother, this is my father, whatever, and I'd say, you know, well, well, hi, I'm Carl, and uh, what's your name? They'd tell me, and then I'd say things like, Lechulo! And it's just, you know, it's just awful. And then, I just kept getting into fights. Um, I, uh, I don't know what came over me. Um, so I sought help. Um, I seemed to get it under control, and obviously, trying to avoid um, situations that might trigger this kind of um, reaction or outburst is perhaps the you know good coping me mechanism. But a few years, well, you know, I don't know when it was, but um, some years ago, there was a big. Um, a big wave of migration from Poland, and uh, so it's, it's pretty much impossible to, um, you know, to avoid uh, coming into contact with Polish people. And I really wish I could, because um, you know, I'll be walking down the street. There might be a, uh, like a, a group of guys and look quite hard, look like they can take care of themselves. It might even be, uh, you know, thugs or something. And I just, uh, you know, I try to avoid eye contact, but. Um, you know, then I, just, I, I, I become nervous. I think it's now a situation where I think it's going to happen. I become nervous, and it um, you know it makes it worse. And I just uh, you know, Kumba! it'll just burst out on me, or even Pietonich, or Bupa, um, Oh no, it's like um, I don't know if people realise that this is Tourette, so I don't really have any control over it. I mean, I've looked, I've been to my GP, um, I've looked into, um, I've Googled it, you know, coping measure, mechanism for kind of normal Tourette's and found that meditation helps. So 
it doesn't seem to be as bad as it used to. So as I said, you know, it seems to be um, the episodes, the outbursts seem to be fewer and further between. I thought this is something I've put behind me. I managed to get a job as a, a tour guide in Nottingham and uh, first group of tourists that I was taking around were German and um, you know I thought this is going great and it's Nottingham Castle and Chaser or um, you, know, um, um, you know when you meet somebody and you, they tell, tell you their name and then you just say oh that's nice and Ashok or Shempa so I think that German is the worst one to swear in because it just sounds so offensive and you think that French being such a delightful, um, beautiful, mellifluous language. It perhaps doesn't seem as insulting, but you'd be surprised. And, uh, you know, I was on, uh, when I was picking grapes in the, uh, the south of France, um, I'd, uh, you know, just uh, go to a bar after work and, you know, get to know the locals. And it doesn't really, it's not a great way to make friends if the first thing you say is Sometimes they, you know, once one comes out, you know, the nerves kick in, and I, the more I try to suppress it, the worse it becomes, and you know, the floodgates are open. So, uh, you know, please donate. I mean, let's, uh, let's see if we can investigate, do some research, and uh, find a cure for this. Okay, so uh, thank you, and see you later.